In this tutorial we'll be creating these distortion waves using After Effects. So this is the clip that I'm gonna be working with. Let's start off by creating a new solid and we'll call this distort, make it black, hit OK. And the effect that's gonna be driving this whole thing is called radio waves and it basically just creates a bunch of shapes from the center outwards and so on. Now let's hide the clip for now and I'm gonna adjust some of the settings here. So the frequency will bring it up to two, the expansion to 35. So this defines how much these shapes expand and how frequent they would appear. These settings we're not gonna really touch here, only the lifespan, I'll set it to about two. And this just defines the life of each of these shapes. So two seconds is what we're setting it. We'll go down here and change the color to white and the fade in will set to one and the fade out to 0.5. So basically how long will it take to fade in and out each of these shapes. And I'm gonna max out the starting and ending width here. So set them both to hundred. So we get a decent size shape here. And this is optional, but you can check on reflection. And basically it's going to create this sort of a extra shape in the middle. And it's gonna make the distortion look kind of more interesting and less radial. Now to make this look less uniform, we're gonna add a turbulent in this place, just so the shape is not so round. And we'll boost up the size here to 120, the amount to about 80, just to give this some variation. And to soften things up so we don't get sharp edges, we'll just add a quick fast blur here, set it to about 30, and this should be good enough. Let's go ahead and enable our clip, and we can hide this one for now and we'll create a new adjustment layer. We'll call this one Displace and add a displacement map to it. Now here under the map layer, we'll set the distort solid and make sure you select effects and masks. So now if we increase the effect here, you can see that we're getting this distortions within the shape we've created. And we can also play with the vertical here, but you don't wanna go too far to avoid these black areas. You could wrap the pixels around, but still receive some artifacts. So I'll keep it at something like 15 and then we'll just crop it. All right, let's go ahead and add some more displacement and we'll do this by creating a new adjustment layer. We'll call this noise. And the only plugin I'm gonna be using is Quick Chromatic Aberration, which is a free plugin from the same people who made Deep Glow. So go ahead and get it because it's very useful and fast as you can see. And I'm gonna boost it to about five. So if you zoom in here, you can see we've got some chromatic effects. And to keep it inside the shape, we're gonna set the track mat to be to our solid. So it's basically just within the shape here. And one more touch of distortion will add a CC blobalize effect. I'm not sure I'm saying it correctly, but basically this effect. And we'll go down here and simply up the softness to maybe 35 and set the cutaway to zero. And this just gives us these nice distortion looking waves here. And lastly, I do wanna add some sort of glow around here. So I'll just duplicate my distortion solid. Let's unhide it here. And maybe bring up the fast blur to 100. And we'll set the layer opacity to about 20. Let's bring it up. And set it to additive. Okay, so this is looking kind of cool. The only thing I want to do here is avoid any displacement on him. So I'll go to my adjustment layers here and just create a quick mask around him and change it to subtract. Let's feather it out a bit, so maybe 80. And I'll just copy this mask onto here just so we can have him fully reveal and avoid some of these edges. Now to add the zooming in effect you've seen in the beginning, I've simply created a new adjustment layer. Then I've added a radial blur to this and a CC lens effect. I will set keyframes for my amount, size and the coverance. Let's set this to zero. We'll also change this from spin to zoom. And here we'll set it to zero and 500 just to zero things out. I'll hit you to bring up these keyframes Let's go to about here and I'll set the blur to maybe 3, the size to 350 and bring this up back to 100. So we just get this sort of a impact zoom kind of feel here in the beginning. Then I'll pre-compose this whole thing and I'll hit S to bring up the scale and I'll just give it some more impact 
with giving it two keyframes of scale sort of at the beginning here so it sort of impacts into the effect and lastly i've added a wiggle the position one which is the basic shake effect built into your after effects and we can set it to maybe 10 just to give it some shake so this is basically how you can create this shockwave effect. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.